Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here, back with another Scan and Cut Saturday. In a previous workshop, uh, I showed how to do a box frame with a cut uh, frame that had some draw fill detail on it. Now, although we didn't actually do the um, particular draw fill feature within the workshop, I was asked to do, perhaps do a video to show you how to do that. So, this is that very video. Let's dig in. I'll begin by opening Canvas Workspace Online, starting a new project, and then loading in a square. This will form the basis and the starting point for this little project. I'm going to open the Properties dialog box and close down the uh, Shapes palette. This is because I'm going to use the Properties dialog box a lot. I'm just typing in the measurements of an A6 card here, that's UK A6. You can of course make this any particular size you like. And this is the actual full size of the card front or the project that you're doing. The next step is to do an offset outline and I'm just going to do it at 2 millimeters, going inwards, delete the original shape and use the corner type of bevel. This gives me my starting point for the actual design of drawing and cutting the frame. The next offset outline is going to be the width of the frame itself. So I've gone for 20 millimeters inwards, leaving the original shape there and choosing a bevel corner type. Then selecting both, I use subtract to punch the top smaller rectangle through the bigger shape. And if I give it some color, you'll see there is now an aperture in the center of that rectangle. I now use the offset outline tool again this time at two millimeters going inwards, leave as is and bevel type. And you can see I now have one part of that done, but the other part is stuck in the center. So I use divide to split the two shapes apart and then delete the center part. You can now see that I have an extra inner frame. I'm gonna take away the color I'll change it to a drawing line and I'll change it to a dashed pattern. I'm going to repeat the offset outline um, process again, this time using the inner frame and the settings that you see here. Now, although this looks like it has an aperture in the middle, actually because it's transparent, we can't see so I use the divide feature again, click in the middle and press backspace or delete. I've now got my central aperture or frame. Change it to a drawing line, turn the draw fill function on. And so that I can tell which part is which, I'm just adding a little color here. Now, believe it or not, that's all I need to do in Canvas Workspace Online. I am, however, just changing that outer rectangle to be a cutting line only because I want you to use that to cut rather than draw. Just for a closer look on the edges there, you can see now that I have an inner and outer cut edge, which I'll make red so that it will distinguish it from the rest. I then have the inner dash lines and then the central um, draw fill function, which obviously will choose the pattern on our machines instead of in uh, Canvas Workspace Online. So in order to get it to your machine, just give it a name. You can, of course, save it if you would like to, to make sure you've got a copy always available online. However, to get it to the machine, we'll download, and you'll download according to your machine's setup. So if you've got Wi-Fi, you can use that. If you prefer to use the USB method, you can right-click and save link as. When you have this loaded in your machine, first, run it through on the draw function, then run it through on the cut function. And after you've done both operations, you will have your cut frame 
with the drawn fill uh, detail on it. Looks great in metallic pens or even glitter pens. Do try various different things. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will look forward to bringing you more soon. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you would like to see more in the future, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon if you would like to receive notifications of future videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.